What is going on YouTube? This is Minty Josh 19 and welcome back to my channel. So currently I am playing Starfield as you can tell and today I just got done doing the battle with the Hunter's Forces. Um, there's going to be some spoilers in this video. Um, however, I was able to persuade the Hunter into letting him just hand over his artifacts, so he did. This is it. This is what the artifacts form. And now we just need to talk to the emissary, which happens to be Bennett. You've done it. The temple's artifact is yours. No, this was your victory. You've proven that you're ready to enter the unity. I know we aren't from the same universe, but here, all the Listen to what I have to say. If it keeps us close. Honestly, I do kind of feel bad about leaving Sarah behind. But, you know, I'm going to be in another universe where she is and I'm currently dead, so. The unity. Honestly, I did this entire battle without... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I literally did this entire battle without using my powers. So this is it. This armillary can finally be assembled. And the Starborn assure that something will happen on the other side. Funny. I thought after all this... That's not what I mean. Say we go to the Unity. Become Starborn. Enter another universe. We both know that one of us is going to let Curiosity win out eventually. But I wouldn't mind pretending one universe is enough. You've earned the artifact. Go. Reach the Unity. I'm here for you, my love. Ah, oh, I miss talking to you already. So, you are given a choice here at this point. You can either stay here with Sarah, or however, you know, you manage to marry. Um, or you can go into the Unity and see what the other side is. So, what I'm going to do here, because I don't feel like leaving behind this game that I haven't even explored all of it yet. I'm going to make a save right here. And then that way, you know, I can always come back and play it again. I picked up something you might be interested in. The problem with doing with... I just can't wait to get that ship right there. Also, the problem with using... Um, with doing this mission is you need a ship that can reach up to 21 light years. Currently, I chose this House of Rune ship. Coming up on the end of a long ride here. We got all the artifact. Yeah. So, hey, listen, uh, you're probably wondering about Cora. I know what everyone's gonna say, but even if I told her no, she'd find some way. I'm sure plenty of the others won't like it, and I'll be worried like no tomorrow if we don't end up in the same place. And hey, same goes for you. I can't wait to get to the Unity. I've been reading all about her. I'll have to check all my charts, you know, in case we get it. Look, Dad said that there's a chance we might all get separated after we go to the Unity. That's what Dad said. I feel... I'm sure gonna miss the lodge. 
Hey, good to see you. Excuse me, Sam. You're in the way again. Ah. Any new orders for me? Good to see you. Ah, it's Next just, time. it's just a major. All right, here we go. You've complete. So pretty much, what you want to do after you get the final artifact, and the emissary gives you your artifacts, you want to go to the ship where the little screen with the little spinning thing with your guys. And this will come up. It says you completed the. Whatever that is, I give up trying to figure that out. Uh, once you power up your grab drive, you'll jump to the Unity. Remove the Armelia from your ship if you need to grab drive to any. Where else? So now, once we have that in, you just want to go into the captain's chair. You know what? Before I visit the other side, I'm going to go back to New Atlantis and talk to everybody else. I mean, it, it's to be honest with you, it just wouldn't feel right to be able to go to the Unity with Sam, Sarah, and Cora, because they're pretty much my favorite, and not say goodbye to the others. As you can see, I kind of, my ship kind of took a pounding. Literally, I'm almost, my hull is at like 50% damage on my grab drive, still damaged. Currently, I was in this, this is where the final battle took place. I mean, I think that's a Starborn ship right there, I could be wrong about that. But, I looked, I actually lucked out with the, um... Uh, where is it? Visiting those creeks. There's Olympus. There's Neuron. The Alpha Centauri. There we go. Yeah, I lucked out when I got to the Hunter because I had auto. All I needed to do was get two auto points or persuasion points, which I did, and then I was able to auto persuade him. So I kind of lucked out there at that point. Once, once I get in, I will show you the gun I use to pretty much destroy the entire battle. I mean, it was just unbelievable. It's a, it's a kind of shotgun. So just give me a second here. Well, real quick, the shotgun I used is called the Calibrated Breach. Fire rate 10, range 19. Accuracy is 55.3. Takes 15 by 25 CLL shells. I have 260 rounds with zero mods. It's actually pretty powerful, especially at point blank range. So that's what I was using. Ugh. Oh, we're here. Perhaps we should see. A moment, Captain. It appears Constellation's current mission is at its end. Thank you. If I were sentient. I am sure I would be feeling a great sense of pride and increased social connectivity to you. 
I hope the process of becoming Starborn is done without causing any physical trauma. But given the unknown physiological requirements of crossing universes, I am told that is the best if we do not see each other again. Goodbye, Captain. From a statistical standpoint, you have been an unusually effective member of this team. So we say goodbye to Vasco. I think that's his name. Yeah. Uh, now we say goodbye to... The journey seems to be coming to an end. So, the unity awaits. I'm not as afraid as I thought I would be. Stepping away from the world you know. I do not know if I would say the same. Do you think we will see each other after? Oh, that was already my plan. <laughs> if we do not see each other again, then goodbye. Uh, I literally give her permission to punch any punished. other version of my character she meets. And she said that was already my plan. We're so close. Come now. You must let me contribute. Walter and I were just discussing the expenses incurred during the attack. No, I was explaining that... It seems that Walter has taken it upon himself, as well as any expenses. Bear it for all his antics. Well, it's not about looking for... Well, I can't thank you enough, Walter. Ah, it'll be a shame to pack up all the modifications to the eye for finding the artifacts. But she's earned a break. Most of it is a jest, but occasionally it's... Ah, uh, I'm just an old... I never really got to know Vladimir. To good. I'll be taking up the chair when everyone's gone in the unity. Not my first time at the helm for a crew. When this is all... I uh, don't know well, about that. About my Intend to keep teaching folks how to play the troublemaker's game. No use being an explorer if you aren't a little dangerous. Well, tipped your ear long enough. Since we're already talking about this, there is one more thing we need to do. <sighs> my god, I don't care it. about Barrett. Sounds fitting. Any objections, Walter? No, I... Then it's settled. I'm glad we had this discussion. It's and been quieter around here ever since Vladimir went to live on the eye full time. Yes. So I know we aren't keeping all the artifacts here anymore, but I think I can get some. You have no idea how excited I am to Anna. What? No, no, no. I do not. Or whatever the unity actually. Anyway, Vladimir and I have been talking, and it'll be pretty quiet at first. Okay, so Noelle's just staying behind. Okay, I promised myself a wing crack. Let's see, I've talked to Vladimir, Sarah, whatever her name is, Noelle. I just need to talk to Walter. The artifacts are all gathered. We've done it. There's nothing like an investment paying off. We've succeeded beyond. Oh no. This moment isn't about my corporate holdings, no. Being part of Constellation... No, that's a verse. Walter's not bragging about his money. Just for me. Although there's always opportunities, I'm not above taking advantage of what we learn as a group. <laughs> Alas, while I would like to take the final jump with everyone, I'm afraid this, there might not be a Stroud Eklund in the next universe, and certainly not mine. And I... Goodbye, my friend. If I could borrow a bit from Sebastian Banks. Do you have a second, friend? I've thought about it. And as much... Thank you. I think I need to look for my answers here. In... 
You too. Yeah, I'm just skipping through this because, you know, I already know who's coming with me. He's not. Walter's not. Vladimir's not. Captain, I have been idling. Uh, I believe I'm bringing her along. Hello. Too many squads. Not bringing Vladimir. So let me just do this. Assign my ship. I don't need the doing fan because he's obnoxious. Uh, let's see. I will unassign Lynn. And I will bring her. I don't need the adoring fan. Heller is just... He's at the new homestead. Okay, so I've already reached numbers. Okay, so pretty much I'm bringing her, Sam Cohen, his daughter, and Sarah Morgan into the multi, into the unity. So we will. This is all exciting. We will see what happens when we reach the multiverse. I'm having flashbacks to that Spider-Man movie. Uh, of course, I can't fast travel while I'm being weighed down. What am I being weighed? By 10. Okay, well, I don't need this. Woo. I don't remember grabbing that, but okay. I'm keeping that. I'm just dropping stuff because I know in the next universe, um, you will lose everything, your ships, um, your friends, so pretty much everything you have currently, you will lose everything but your levels, is what I'm told, but all your spacesuits, um, so like this spacesuit I have that I got after the Terramorph attacks, the Marine one, you will lose that. And I'll lose my ship. This is actually my first account. My last account you saw. Actually, my, that, the one you saw earlier was my third account. But this one um, is the first one I got when the game came out. I literally captured this ship like two days after the game came out and then I sold it and then I had to buy it back because it was the only 21 uh, light year ship or whatever you want to call it that I could afford at the time because I spent all my money elsewhere. So Alright, here we go. Power on for the grab job. Incredible. Now, I'm told that there were also multiple versions of the universe. You can visit one when you were where there's kids, there's ones where there's other yous. Like, look at all these universes. There's me. You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside oneself? All of time and space filters right through now. a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. 
Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Do you feel dead? You are energy. And... Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must... That intangible part of you, that something that makes you unique amongst the infinite, will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators. But not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysteries of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creating new kinds of matter, so will part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your ship, in your universe. You could live out the life you have. I've enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity right now. Go out into the stars. Look at all these different As you universes. consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving as the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. The Emissary remains in this universe, but your faith in them inspires them to seek out those they believe are worthy of finding the Unity. Many noble Starborn will be reborn under their guidance. Constellation membership who stays behind will, in time, publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, Starborn, and the Unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. The Terramorph attack. The use of an engineered microbe on the Terramorphs leads to a near extinction of the species. Fear of aliens declines throughout the settled systems. Belief in the UC as the most well-protected area of space grows. So those are the only three major things I've done. Mission-wise. As far as the Crimson... Well, then again, I can't, couldn't do the Although Crimson Fleet. leave this universe behind, a new universe awaits you. you yeah I couldn't do the Crimson Fleet because of that one mission is still glitched out and I didn't feel like trying to do it again it's Sarah your lover Sarah Morgan eventually chooses to be reborn herself your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems Marriages blossom, more children are born who want to be explorers.
there's a possibility that there could be more. But, you know, like I said, I saved the game so I can always go back and do it. Well, I guess this is it. And you can, I got one giant leap. I am now Starboard. Incredible. Look at all the different universes there are. Each one with its own different version of Constellation. Its own different versions of your character. I mean, you can do this... I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I'm pretty sure you can do this more and more often you go to a different universe. As I said before, there's one where there's the constellation, the lodge, is literally nothing but you. You see, um, you see you, the, um, three star, star collective you. What else is there? There's loner you, starborn you, constellation you, crimson fleet you, Rajo industries you. There's mul literally it's every other faction that you could have joined, joined is you. There's ones where the constellation members disappeared and now the children are acting, or children took over and are acting like it. Really, who knows what's going to happen. It, it looks cool though. There's also a little cutscene, because you do end up getting that ship. And... Okay, so we're in the credits now. Yeah, so that's what happens when you uh, go to the Unity. I like it, you know, it's pretty entertaining. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens next. Uh, for me, so... So, in the meantime, I hope you all liked this video. Um, it was pretty entertaining. And it'll be interesting to see what ending or what universe I join. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video and leave a comment below. And don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel. Oh, wait, here we go. We can actually skip it now. Okay. Starborn, this is what you've become, a being who's touched the infinity, or the in yeah. Your story is over, but will begin anew, in this universe and countless others. You remember all you have learned, your possessions and everyone you knew have been left behind. Explore this new universe and all it offers, and perhaps take another trip through the unity. So we do get this cool spacesuit, and... We get this cool ship. I mean, look at this thing. This is the ship that we were first introduced that attacks us. You just sit in the captain's chair. Yeah, baby. So, anyway, that's it for this video. Um... I'm glad I finally became Starborn, even though I had to leave everybody behind. So, in the meantime, um, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment but what, uh, what you think of the video. I know it's pretty long. Uh, smash that thumbs up button if you like it. And I hope you all have a good night and a good week. And I'll see you all next time. Have a good night.